Today, you're going to learn how to search your application so that you can find anything you're looking for, whether it's a field that's being used, a specific workflow action, a style. Uh, this is going to help you troubleshoot your application more effectively and develop a lot faster. And searching your application can be tricky because the bigger your app gets, the more there is to sift through and it can really take a long time to find something. And it's very easy to forget where things are. But the method I'm going to teach you today is going to make it so much faster for you to really find exactly what you need so that you can start using this in your own app and your development right away. I'm Gabby Roman, co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help CEOs and founders build custom software to start or scale their businesses. Let's dive right in. So the tool that we're going to use here is the app search tool. You can find it by clicking on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner here in your toolbar. And this is going to open up a little movable uh, window here. This is your app search tool. Now you can search by lots of different categories. So let's look at the first one, element type. So if you're searching by the element type, you'll want to tell Bubble which element it is you're looking for. So let's say I choose button. I want to search my entire app for all buttons and I'll hit search here. And what that's going to do is show me every single instance of a button being used in the entire application. Now, this is one of my demo apps, so I have lots of random pages here, but there's a lot of buttons. You can see 47 buttons are being used in my application. And kind of faded here on the lower right of each item is the name of the page or reusable element that that element is that the button is being used on. So I know exactly where to find um, all of these things. Now, if I were to only search the current page and it's going to take this number down, let me hit search again. I can see that I only have two buttons and I can actually see them right here, my sign up and my login buttons. Um, you can also filter uh, optionally uh, by uh, the button label. So if I do you know, just the word log, then it should only show me my login button just like that. Now, the really cool thing about this tool is when you have your list of search results here, so I can see I have six buttons with the word login or log out uh, or just log in general, you can select click on this um, item and it's gonna take you right to the element, right to the place of uh, wherever, whatever it is that you're searching. Not all of these are gonna be elements. Sometimes they're workflows or styles. And uh, that way you can instantly get to that place if you need to make a change, if you're looking for something to troubleshoot, uh, that's gonna help you find it so much faster. Um, and because this is app wide, you know, if you're not sure what page things are being used on, uh, this is a really helpful way to narrow those down. Now, a really great use case for this type of tool besides, you know, just being able to find stuff is anytime you are replacing a field in your data types, um, you can search for the field you're about to remove first and see if anything is still using it because you want to make sure that if you're going to replace a field or delete a field, uh, that it's still, it's not, it's no longer being used um, in the app anymore. Otherwise you're gonna run into errors, right? If you're trying to use a field that's been deleted. Okay, so here's an example. If I go over to the user field and I want to replace, um, let me see actually, this will actually be a really good example here. If I wanna search by uh, anywhere that uses a specific field, um, I can look up that field first, see if there's anywhere that's using it, and then go to that place and then replace it or just change it out with something else because I don't want to use it anymore. So let's see if I have a last name anywhere under user. So if I do use this field, I do have to tell Bubble which data type. So I'm going to select user, field name. Uh, let's try last name. Okay, so I have two spots where the last name is being used. So let's just say that I wanted to remove the last name field. I wanted to delete it. I would do this first find everywhere that it could potentially still be used, uh, go to those locations and replace them with something. So in this case, it's being used in a text element. And if I knew that I was gonna delete this, I might go ahead and remove that last name reference so that um, I can safely delete it and I don't run into any errors here. Now, if I do another search again, now it's down to one because I removed uh, that reference over here. Okay, so that's a really good use case. I use it for that type of thing all the time. Um, but you can explore all the different search by categories here. You can search by different action types. Um, 
different reusable elements. It'll call up any of your own reusable elements, anywhere that a reusable element is being used. That's very, very handy uh, and others. So this is fantastic for troubleshooting for generally just hunting things down if you need to copy and paste stuff and you're not really sure where it was. It's so, so handy for apps that are really big with lots of pages and lots of elements. All right, I hope that helped you learn a helpful new technique for your application with the steps that I just went over and showing you this tool, you should be able to move through your development much faster now. And if you learned something new today, go ahead and click the subscribe button right below this video so you can stay updated on every new video released. And if you wanna take this way further, head to coachingnocodeapps.com and sign up for our extended training series. It is completely free. Thanks so much for watching you guys and see you in the next one.